Hello and welcome to another Beehive feature update. In this video, I'm going to cover our new subscriber break feature that will allow you to drop a break into your content that will encourage users to sign up to continue reading the rest of the article. To access this feature, we're going to navigate to a post. I have one that I've already prepared. So I'm gonna open up the edit view and this is my post from the command palette. We can select the subscriber break. It's going to happen is it's going to show up like this. It's only going to show up on the web. It doesn't show up in emails because emails are already sent to users who are subscribed by nature. But other users who may visit the website or opt to read online, if you share it on social media, will have to subscribe to view anything below the line break. If I now go to exit and I go to view the published post, I have to now sign up before I can see anything below this. What I've done is I've customized some of the language here. The section where you can customize language is under website, advanced, and then email capture. You're going to go to the gated section and you're going to change the language here to edit the copy that shows up when you actually have it listed on the web. The last thing to know is that when you have a subscribe break in your content, it's going to override any other settings you may have around site-wide content gating or pop-ups. Our thinking is that if you have the subscriber break, you've intentionally added that, you wouldn't necessarily want the entire post to be hidden behind the gate. And then when a user opens it up, there would be no point for the subscriber break. Logically, it just makes sense to have that take precedence over the subscribe or email gating. So there you have it. That is the subscriber break feature. Thank you so much for your time. We look forward to seeing what you build with this. Have a great day.